A few months ago, I made a video where I talked about ramen in Finland. And ramen is getting more and more popular in Finland, but still, it's not as common as sushi. And then I realized I haven't really made ramen at home because in Japan, it's common to just go eat ramen to a ramen restaurant. And in Finland, some people asked me if I make ramen at home, and I've always said no. <laughs> then lately, I got a DM from one of my subscribers saying I should uh, try making ramen at home with the ingredients I can find in Finland. And I thought it's a good idea, but if I make ramen from the scratch, meaning if I make the noodles by myself, I need maybe some machines. And also, if I make soup from scratch, I need to boil all the chicken bones and pork bones, and it takes like a day. And maybe I'm not gonna do it yet at this point. But still, I thought maybe I should try making ramen in a bit simpler version, but still taking some more time uh, compared to making these instant noodles. <laughs> and as you know, there are many different types of ramen such as pork broth based, chicken broth based, and also soy sauce based, salt based. But in this video, I will make miso ramen. Uh, actually, I will make two different types of miso ramen. The first one, uh, pork based miso ramen. And the other one is vegan miso ramen. And to be honest, I don't really know how it goes. I, I can't uh, come up with all the recipe by myself, so I will follow uh, some recipes which I found on YouTube and some uh, cooking vlog. But I'm hoping to give you some sort of inspiration so that you can actually try making ramen using this recipe. Even if it doesn't taste good, I will still publish this video. So the idea is I will try. <laughs> this for the first time and hopefully you can learn something from this video. Let's start! Okay, so I'm gonna start cooking now and here is the ingredients. And you can find around half of the ingredients in normal supermarkets and the other half can be found in the Asian shops. If I make a pork based ramen from the scratch, it takes like hours because I need to keep boiling pork bones, for example. But I'm not gonna do that today. And instead, I'm making this miso ramen and it takes around 30 to 40 minutes, I guess. And you can find the ingredients in the description below as well. Okay, so I start by cutting vegetables. I have leek, spring onion, and ginger, and garlic, and sprout. And today I have these kind of vegetables, but the thing is you can use some other vegetables if you want. There is no such uh, like one fixed recipe, so feel free to improvise. And here I have uh, pork belly and what I'm gonna do is I keep uh, chopping to make it into tiny pieces. Uh, so what I want to do is I'd like to extract the uh, flavor from the pork so that the soup will be rich. And I have also bonito flakes. So bonitos and pork will make the soup like uh, richer. <laughs> so that's the point here. Of course pork works as a good toppings.
so I'm frying pork with sesame oil and this is also good with uh, miso flavor so I recommend using this instead of normal oil Yeah, so this will be the base of the soup. So this is really important part of this cooking. Now soup is getting like more richer and richer. And I'm adding the sugar here. Half teaspoon. And also mirin, one tablespoon. And I'm adding this tobanjan. If you don't like spicy stuff, you can just skip this uh, ingredients. But I'm adding a little bit. Ah, it's so good. <laughs> Okay, this is almost ready, so now I need to boil the noodle. So this will be cooked slowly. Okay, I start boiling this noodle now. And this is the only decent looking noodles <laughs> I found in the Asian market. So I'm not really sure how good it is, but let's see. Mm. Mm. As a home cooking, I would rate 4 out of 5. The soup is really good, and the toppings and the vegetables, they all go together really well. So I'm overall really satisfied. Uh, but the thing is, this noodle is uh, not that good. I need to go find like better ones because the texture is not uh, my favorite. But still, uh, I'm really happy about the uh, soup and the pork and green onions. 
get really good accent and <laughs> And one more point I should improve is the amount of soup is uh, not enough. I think I should have made like 100 or 200 milliliters more of the soup. Okay, so pork miso ramen went quite well. And tomorrow I'm making vegan ramen. And uh, I have ingredients already. And I need to start preparing soup already today and then cooking tomorrow. So this is a dried shiitake mushroom and this is dried kelp. So I'm adding them in the water now and keep it in the fridge for around 12 to 24 hours. This has <laughs> quite a strong smell. <laughs> To be honest, I don't really know <laughs> how much amount I need. Okay, maybe if you are familiar, you can tell me this is too much or too little. <laughs> okay, so see you tomorrow. So the second day. I'm gonna make vegan miso ramen and these are the ingredients I'm using. Yeah, so the cooking procedure is pretty similar to pork miso ramen I made yesterday. I'm gonna cut vegetables, fry them on a the pan and add the soup there. So making soup in a pan and boil the noodles and mix them but i'm not gonna use meat nor fish or animal <laughs> products <laughs> in this recipe Now I'm adding this uh, soy milk. Uh, some recipes say it's better to add soy milk and some recipes didn't say anything about it. But I'm gonna try. I'm just hoping the soup is rich enough because when I made pork miso ramen I was able to get good soup stock from pork and bonito flakes uh, but this one I tried to get the soup stock from shiitake mushrooms and the dried kelp 
I'm not sure how rich it is, but let's see. But at least it smells really good. Hmm. It's pretty good. It's much more mild compared to the pork miso ramen, but this is good. Okay, this is ready, so now I need to boil noodles. Yesterday I used ramen noodles, but it contains eggs. So in order to make this vegan miso ramen, I cannot use it. I had to replace it with something else. So I'm gonna use this dried pasta. It doesn't contain eggs. And there's a trick. So when you boil this pasta, you can add uh, roka soda in Finnish. So it's baking soda. Uh, then it will be a bit similar to ramen noodles. There's uh, some science in it. <laughs> you can Google it why the texture will be like um, ramen noodles if you boil pasta with baking soda. So let's start boiling. Okay, this looks really good. <laughs> Yeah, as you can see, I'm enjoying this a lot. This is really good. Um, yesterday I rated 4 out of 5 for the pork miso ramen, but I would rate this vegan miso ramen. Um, I would say 4.5 out of 5. So first of all, yesterday one, uh, one point to be improved was this noodle. The, the random... <laughs> Uh, ramen noodles I bought from Asian market wasn't really good. This one, <laughs> boiling pasta with baking soda, is actually better than buying ramen noodles because the texture is more closer to like actual like ramen noodles because this is more chewy. So I should have done this ye even yesterday instead of using uh, the random ramen noodles from an Asian shop. And the soup is really mild. So if you like more like strong meaty flavor, then you should make uh, pork miso ramen. But this is quite rich, mild but still strong. So you wouldn't even notice if I don't say this is vegan ramen. I think I can even sell this, and people would be happy to pay like 13 to 15 euros for this, because compared to many other ramen restaurants where you spend 15 euros for one bowl of ramen. <laughs> this might be even better than some of those. And one point I can still improve would be like main topping. Because for instance, in this uh, pork miso ramen, uh, there was a pork there on it. But in this uh, vegan miso ramen, I only had some vegetables and mushroom. So I should think about some main topping which even highlights this flavor.
anyway, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it or you learned something. And if you want, I can still try making more authentic ramen, which I have to cook for like hours or even like a whole day. And also, if you have some other ideas, like what to cook in my video, uh, please feel free to uh, let me know. It can be uh, Japanese food or some traditional Finnish food. It'll be nice to try making it. I hope to see you in my next video. Moika!